What's going on with y'all, man? So we just finished up with our range day. Today I want to share with you one of the tests that I like to put my 556 five, rifles through. The test is this right here. I'll come from the range, like the day I fired three magazines through here. I will go a whole week or two weeks and not fire another round through this rifle, but leave it in the condition that it is right now. Nice and dirty and carboned up, as you can see. The reason why I do that is because I want to know beforehand that if I have to fire three or four magazines through this rifle, cease fire, whether it's a day, two days, a week, two weeks later, I want to know that I can be right back into the firefight and not have to face no malfunctions. And I done did this with this rifle several times. So I already know that it's going to function because we got top of the line parts in here. We got that. Paul Middle State Army, FN, Chrome Line, Burl. We got that top of the line, DLC coated boat carrier. So I've already put this test through this rifle, so I know it's going to pass it with flying colors. But I just kind of wanted to share it with y'all because I just ordered 500 rounds of the PMC 55 grain ammunition. So when they get here, hopefully next week, I'm going to have to take this back to the range next week and reserve it. So I just wanted to kind of prep y'all. And give y'all a prelude to what we're going to be doing next week, hopefully. We're going to be testing this rifle in the condition that it is right now, good and dirty. We're going to run another 100 through there just to prove the point that the AR-15 is built for the fight. And even if it got a little dirt on it, it's still going to function and run as it should. Just to prove them AK-47 people wrong. <laughs> y'all be blessed, be safe, man. I'm out.